Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can draw and insert math formulas into Excel. So I recently wrote a blog post about Pearson's correlation coefficient, and I wanted to show the mathematical formula for that, and I remembered that Excel has the ability to insert equations. So if you go to the Insert tab, we have the option to insert an equation here. Now if I click on the top part of this button, then that's going to insert this equation box here. And when we're inside this equation box, it's going to open up this equation tab and we have all these options here to insert various mathematical notations. So you can build out your formula with all of these. Now it's kind of tedious if you have a big formula and you want to add in all these various objects and also various symbols. But what I didn't notice before is that there's an option here for an ink equation. And so what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to hand draw our equation and then Excel will convert that into this various notations here. So let's give it a try. So if we click on the ink equation, that's going to open up this editor here and we can resize this to make it a little bit bigger. Now, if you have a touch screen and a pen device, it's probably gonna make this a lot easier. So I'm writing with my mouse right now, so it's not gonna be as easy, but let's give it a try. So we can start writing our equation and you can see up in the top that Excel is going to recognize that handwriting and convert it to the various symbols that we're trying to use. Now in this editor, if you mess something up, you can always erase that. So you can just erase part of your formula. So you can click on any part and it's going to erase just that part. And you can go back to writing if you want. And notice here it's got something wrong. So it's got this as a sigma character when that should be a two. That's a really messed up two, but that's what I wanted. So we can erase that and start again, or we can select and correct. So that's gonna give you the option to select the part that's wrong. And then it's gonna come up with various potential options. Now this one's so bad that it wasn't able to recognize that it might be a two. So in this case, we are gonna to have to erase and start again. Now, once you're happy with what the equation looks like up here, we can insert that into Excel. And then of course we can come to our home tab, maybe increase that font quite a bit. And there we go. So that's an easier way to create an equation inside of Excel. So Excel gives us the ability to handwrite our equations and then it'll convert those into the proper equations or notations for us. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.